It has been so amazing to connect with you all on these Zoom calls, and to hear about the impact this organization has had over the years and on so many incredible leaders. It's humbling and inspiring to be in community with you all. Thank you so much for tuning in to this virtual reunion. I can't tell you how much it means to me. I'm Lisa Watson, Executive Director and Senior Fellow from Class 30. Well, when I thought about my first year as Executive Director, let's just say this is not quite what I imagined. We had so many plans, like continuing to host ALF listening sessions around the state again, where I envisioned my schedule filled with travel to meet you in your homes and your communities. But of course, those plans were cut short overnight. Yet, we still found ways to connect, because this moment, this time in our collective experience made it absolutely vital for us to reach out and stay connected in any way that we could. We are an organization centered on connection and convening. When COVID-19 began spreading in Oregon and we got the directive to stay home to save lives, everything felt uncertain. Not just for the future of our work at ALF, but for our communities and for all of our own families. Then something really special happened when we took our ALF check-ins online. In these little boxes, our statewide network lit up in a way it never had before. These computers helped us connect across the distance, giving us the opportunity to show that no matter where in the world we are, we always have this network of people ready to encourage, support, to lean on, and to learn from. The connective tissue of ELF has never really been about seeing each other in person. It's about listening to each other, it's about holding space for leaders to be vulnerable with each other and themselves. It's about showing up for each other and knowing each other because in that relationship is where the real work gets done. It's never felt so important to hear each other, to see each other, to keep our eyes open to the stark and violent inequities that plague our country. We are in the middle of a global pandemic that's disproportionately impacting black and brown and immigrant communities, colliding with continued police brutality and murders of black and brown people, colliding with climate emergencies, devastating wildfires, and the effects of colonization that are leaving indigenous communities like our community of Warm Springs without adequate water in the heat of wildfire season and a pandemic. And yet the overwhelming response seems to be continued division continued outrage at each other instead of working together, seeing each other and helping one another through this challenging time. That is why we have ALF. That's why we continue to connect in any way we can through dialogue and shared trust. As we hold our ALF check-ins online, people are sharing resources to help support each other's communities through the urgent challenges of COVID-19. Education resources, food, rent and utility assistance, technology access. These are just a few of the ways that senior fellows have shown up for each other and our communities through this pandemic. We've also been able to have hard conversations and hold each other accountable around race and justice for our black, brown and indigenous communities. At a time of crisis, fear and hate, this senior fellow network reached out toward each other and across races across regions to do what we do best, to listen, to heal each other together through action, to continue working toward the common good. If you're a senior fellow and you have not yet joined one of our virtual check-ins, I hope you will soon. I personally continue to be inspired and comforted by our time together on these calls, even if they are virtual. I feel our connectedness. And I don't know about you, but that's what I feel like I need most lately, to connect. I wanna give a special shout out to our newest classes, class 37 and class 38, who haven't yet had the ALF experience that most of us have had. Traveling around the state, rock climbing, sharing meals, and yet this amazing group of people chose to engage with us this year, leaning into the virtual format because they see the urgency of connecting and bridging the gaps between us. 
they've shared with me that they've been surprised at how quickly they were able to build trust with each other and to connect which I believe it is a testament to them as people and to the strength of ELF. It's also a testament to our incredible faculty, Cliff Jones and Nancy Davis. Thank you both so much. Holding regular online check-ins has given classes who haven't met in years the chance to reconnect and re-engage with each other. Class 16, who you'll hear from in a moment, had fallen out of touch for nearly 20 years and came back together for monthly check-ins and connection online. We've had people check in with us and with their classes from Kosovo, Virginia, the Philippines, all over the United States, giving them a chance to connect with their Oregon community in an important moment in our history. Affinity groups have formed to give people opportunities to connect outside of their classes. Our BIPOC Leaders Affinity Group for Black, Indigenous, and People of Color has been meeting every month since the murder of George Floyd to be a support and a refuge for one another as we work to dismantle systems of oppression. It has been a truly necessary space to be a part of, and I thank you all for creating that space and reigniting this group again. Tonight, we're excited to launch the Women's Affinity Group and the LGBTQ Plus Affinity Group who will have ELF lounges open after the event to kick off their efforts to connect and to serve you, our senior fellows. This is just the beginning. At ELF Oregon, as the only statewide ELF organization, we've always struggled to fully engage and serve our statewide network. Across our state, we have a deep commitment to communities and to place. This unites us, and yet, our greater communities have gaps in perspective and understanding that can divide us. At best, those divisions aren't productive. At worst, they're deadly. That's why we must continue this work across our state and why we will likely continue virtual meetings well beyond the pandemic. These are, there are still hard conversations to be had across Oregon. There is still so much we need to do for our black and indigenous communities and communities of color. There is still so much to do to fight COVID-19 and make sure that our most vulnerable communities make it out of these crises safely and equitably. This is truly the time to show up for each other. And if we can better activate our statewide network online, then that's what we'll continue doing. I thank you all for leaning in these past six months, asking for help, offering help, listening, and showing the strength of this beautiful network of leaders. A year ago, I stood on the reunion stage and I asked you, who are we together? I'm excited to be joining you tonight to confidently say that together we are ALF Oregon, no matter where we are in the world. We're collaborators and movement builders. We are co-conspirators striving for something better for all of our communities. We are believers in our common humanity. And no matter how long we go without connecting or engaging with our classmates or the senior fellow network, we have a bond that never goes away. That is the power of this work and what you all make possible. And it's truly never been such important work to do. Let's hear from our friends in class 16 about what they've gained from reconnecting after 20 years. I think all of us could learn a bit from these incredible leaders.